first time I heard about you was Todd, my colleague in the music industry. He sent me your biography and I read about how you lost your dad when you were 10 years old in a car crash. And for some reason it just really hit me. I listened to the depth in your voice and at that time there was a lot of people approaching me to work with me and you just went to the top of the list because I just loved your strength. Mm -hmm. And that's what really encouraged me to work with you. I remember the first time we were met. I was on my way to your house. We were just met to have coffee and just to kind of gain some wisdom from your experience. And I just, I felt this peace when I walked in your house. And I remember sitting at your little table in your kitchen and you got me a cup of coffee and within five minutes you were you know bringing us into the piano where we wrote two songs that first day and you shared so many stories about your life and just about you know your your faith walk and it's it was just such a beautiful first meeting I feel like we instantly had this sisterhood that was starting to build we did we did and it was seven years ago yeah so we worked on two albums together you even went to England and performed on Songs of Praise, which was the show before I was a Christian that I would watch on TV thinking, what are all those people doing? But it would always make me feel this peace. And then Jen ends up performing our song, A Little Grace, on there. That was a big moment for me. I was chasing this pop thing for so long, and um... I felt so incredibly blessed to get to write with you and also just this kind of this mentorship came. Like you taught me so much about the business and I was able to learn and the more I kind of prayed and wrestled with my own career, I was able to kind of think, okay, what am I really called to do? What is the purpose? And there was a really interesting phone call that I got from you uh, in that time of wrestling and you just kind of had approached me about hey, I want to do this inspirational record. I feel like, you know, we're meant to do this together, think about it, pray about it, and where did that, I mean, how did that idea come for you as well? Well, I think I was wrestling too, because I have had um, all my dreams come true, really, really blessed in life before I was a Christian, and uh, I guess once you've sort of been on the treadmill of constantly reaching for the next hit, the next big moment. After that's happened over a couple of decades, you start to think, is this what I'm really meant to be doing? Maybe I should do something that would bring you know, some peace to people and happiness and joy. And just working with you had really made me feel that peace and the subject matter and the fact that we were singing inspirational music that would lift people up instead of um, Pop's a different thing, and rock's definitely a different thing. Um, and that can be inspirational too, but with you it just felt different. And so I've been praying about it as to where, do I, where am I meant to go in my career? And I just felt this calling. I want to make some music that lifts people up in these times, and I want it to be inspirational. You came to mind. Call Jen Bostick. See if she's interested in doing this.